Hmm. Okay. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Mission Impact Series with Ty and Tracy. And this is the last part of the, the series of doing a mid year assessment for your business or organization. So just to recap, we're going to go over what we've talked about in this series, and then we're going to get into today's series. So the first one was why you need a mid-year assessment. So go back and watch that. It'll be a part of a, on a playlist. I'll put them all in a playlist so you can find it. It'll be called mid-year assessment. The second one that we did was preparing for a quality assessment. So we gave you the steps to kind of getting yourself ready to prepare for the quality assessment. And then we talked about the six major areas that you would need to assess in your mid-year assessment for it to actually make sense, right? And then now we're talking about what to do with your mid-year assessment. So you've done this assessment, then what's next? You know, because doing it without some action plan behind it, it's a fruitless, um, you just wasted your time, right? Mm -hmm. So um, if this is your first time here, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe because Ty come, and I come to you almost every week with um, some knowledge. We drop knowledge on you on a regular basis. And just so that you know, this is the last time you're going to see us, right? Until September, because we need a break, we right? Need a break. So this is the last, basically season one of the Mission Impact series. And then we'll be back in September for season two. So if you're just discovering us, this is a great time to go back and watch the entire year. We started with December, I want to say. Yeah, January. I think, was, I think it was I think it was December actually. Okay. Yeah, I think it was December. Um, so there are lots of videos and ev every video is kind of like this where we have a series every month and we break it down and we give you the information that you need. So again, first time here, go like, share, subscribe, share this with a friend, leave us some comments. We'd like to hear feedback, put on your notification bell so that you know when we come back in September so that you can get those notifications. All right. So my name is Tracy V. Allen. I'm the owner of TBA Consulting Group. I help change agents to design, build, and fund their social ventures, maximize their revenue, and impact their communities. And I've been in this business for over 20 years. <laughs> my name is Ty Boone. I'm owner of Ty Boone Enterprises. Um, I help mostly nonprofit organizations move from startup and struggle to sustainability and success. And like Tracy, I've been in this business for over 20 years. It's, that's why I told y'all we need a break, right? That's why we're not coming back to September. Because we, <laughs> we need a break, okay? We, we do. Yeah. We're talking about we're talking about mid-year assessments and what to do with those things. And mm -hmm. Trey, this is one of my almost every, you'll, you'll see me like roll my eyes and, and do all crazy stuff when I think about like what people should be doing and why they're not doing this thing. Mm -hmm. um, just like with the strategic plans and the and the funding plans and the business plans, sometimes we do stuff to have it done and then we sit it on our desk and we like and we don't see it anymore. We do we do nothing. Right. We don't want this to be what you guys do with your mid year assessments because we spent a whole month telling y'all about getting it done. So okay, so <laughs> these things are very very useful, right? Because they can transform. And we talked about transformation. Again. They can transform your organizations in the trajectory of your business because you're going to take this information and you're going to it's going to help you to create a new plan mm -hmm. implementation right because sometimes we get the reason why we're not producing like we're supposed to produce is because we don't know how to implement what we have already gotten and what we have already learned so this assessment of yours is going to tell you what's missing what's the gaps who needs to who was supposed to do what and who didn't do it so who needs to who do we need to get on at this time what do we what kind of changes do we need to make who needs to be in charge of making the changes all that kind of stuff right mm -hmm. so now you have a new plan and with this plan you can create really actionable processes that will allow you to walk this thing out to achieve yep. whatever goal that you're trying to achieve so that's and that's the first place you, the first thing you do with it is you create mm -hmm. a new how right. we gonna, what did our old strategic plan even make sense Right. The capacity that we have right now, could we feasibly do this crap that they that we said we were going to do in this whole thing? And now that I've done this mid-year assessment, I we realized that we this is not what we wanted to do. 
Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So doing a mid-year assessment, like Ty says, taking the data that you collected, right, and assessing that data to either improve your plan or throw the whole plan away and create a new one, right? So it's one or the other. If your assessment wasn't bad and you were meeting your benchmarks and you didn't meet a few benchmarks, then you just tweak the plan that you already have. If nothing works out, especially financially, you know, and um, your marketing isn't right, your programs are not delivering on their expected outcomes, then you're going to need to throw the whole plan away and start over. And that's what it's doing. Instead of going all the way to December to realize, oh my goodness, we did not accomplish anything of relevance in this year. Right. Or when your tax for some people is even when their tax person does their taxes the following year and they see that they either owe or they only made twenty thousand dollars when they projected to make a hundred thousand dollars. Because some people are just robbing people to pay all and you don't realize that your business isn't making any money because it's making a little bit of money steadily over time. So you don't realize your business is not truly supporting you, especially if you have a nine to five job because you have that other um, income coming in or you have another job, another business or another side hustle, whatever it is. Sometimes you're not realizing that the business that you're trying to build truly isn't growing. Mm -hmm. Right. Everything is about growth and sustainability. And the mid-year assessment helps you to do that. Just like everything else we talk about in a social impact business data is king mid-year assessment is a data tool right it'll help you to decide to determine whether or not you're meeting your benchmarks and we listed the six the last time the six major benchmarks that you need to list i mean to assess whether you're meeting those benchmarks you're not meeting those benchmarks then you need to go back to the drawing table with your stakeholders not by yourself but with your stakeholders to come up with a plan that's mm -hmm. going to work when you mentioned that, I like, I, you know, I'm like, oh my goodness, you know, because that's one of the most, I think the most major problem is that, especially for lone leaders or people who are starting organizations mm -hmm. by themselves, business by themselves, they want to do it all. They don't want to involve anybody else. I mean, they don't even, they're creating strategic plans by themselves. You know, I could, I could tell you the number of people who come to me for strategic planning and I go, where's, do you have a board? They go, no, we can't do strategic planning. We got a board. Right. How you go? Who was help? We can't do this, right? What do you have an approved operational budget? You ain't got no board, so you probably so you have. Who's on your team? Who's helping you to walk through this? What does it mean for them? Because mm -hmm. guess what? You're giving all the input. You're giving all the information. You have a one-sided organization, right? You you're not representing the community. You're not representing those you serve. This is all about you. And then at the end of the day, when you're not producing like you want to produce in the community, that's why, because you've made it about yourself. Yeah, definitely. I mean, I think that's it, is just really taking that information, mm -hmm. assessing the information, and using it to drive informed decision making. Mm -hmm. Okay? informed you're not this is not a guessing game you have the tools at your disposal the people are right there the books are right there hopefully you are keeping good books you know you know intake and outputs and all of that stuff not just financially but the people the clientele everything that's coming in and going out of your business and you can really truly sit down even if you're a single singular business you're a small business you're not into social um the social impact space you're not into any of that but you as a singular business, Ty, myself, we are just regular business owners. We still need to do this. We have people that are on our teams, that staff members, are they pulling their weight? You know, are they overworked? Do we need to hire new people? So we're mm -hmm. using our assessment tools to do the same thing that we're telling you to do. We're taking the data from what we have, um, what we've assessed, and then we're using it to make informed decisions and making sure whatever you do talk to the people that are on your team people talk to those people i hear too many times um business owners or bosses are making decisions that are going to affect the larger organization without ever consulting that organization that you're asking for a mass exodus of people resigning and moving on somewhere else. 
And you have to stop and do this, right? You know, Tracy and I are mm-hmm. taking a break. We're not taking a break from life, you know. It's like taking a <laughs> break. Stop. Sometimes you have to build in little stopping points. Yes. So, so you're not so busy doing the work or making transactions that you go, okay, this this whole week I'm gonna I'm gonna check out my business. I ain't gonna we ain't get talking to no clients. We're not. Do, I need to check out what's going on over here at Tyboom Enterprises, right? We need to see. Right. Have some. I need to have a whole week of staff meetings so we can see what's mm-hmm. up. I need, to, right. I need to see what's going on externally. I need to check out my partner relationships and see who's gonna be good. Who's gonna go with me to the end of the year? Who's who I'm gonna be with for next year? Mm-hmm. Sometimes when we when we don't stop to do that, we get we're only we're human. We get tired yeah. and burn, you know. So you're trying to run your business or your organization, and then you're trying to manage your team and all this kind of stuff. Take a break and carve in some time to do what you said. Yeah, mm-hmm. makes sense. Because when you talk about taking a break and some people are like, well, you know, we got to start the clients. We can't take a break. There's always weekends. Mm-hmm. And that's when you pay overtime and you take them on a nice little holiday somewhere and you build in some time to talk about business and have fun at the same time. But the work needs to get done. No matter how it gets done, it has to get done. Mm-hmm. Okay, whether you close the business for a day or two to do your assessment. And if you already have great systems and processes in place, it'll only take you a day of no a business besides assessment to actually get it done. If your systems and processes are not in place that you're not working away that's a whole week yeah we were going to talk about we didn't talk about it's not a part of this but one part of the assessment is to figure out what kind of systems you need right because you can be <laughs> true very true you can be yeah. in tech, right? and your business is supposed to still go you still got to make money now if i'm mm-hmm. if not coming back in september but we're not trying to we, we're gonna be making money like mm-hmm. <laughs> we're, we're not gonna not make money from from june to J- july to september right something is still going to be happening right exactly exactly you know these youtube videos are going to live on youtube you can see them at any point in time the podcast will always be on the podcast the website will always be there you know you can randomly go to the website purchase a package purchase a digital product so there are always going to be systems and processes in place that even when i am not physically there to help you through the process, you can still get things done that you need to get done. And that's why you have staff members so that they know your business, so that when you're away, they can continue to provide the services that your clientele needs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so Uh-oh. I think that wraps up our else. Maybe think of something else, but I know we're about to go. But you, said you, have, you have staff members so they can know what they're supposed to be doing. That's, that goes back to those manuals, those operating manuals that we that uh, folks just don't have right you know in in profits i talk about the hierarchy charts right where in all of the well-established organizations you see these but in the smaller ones they're just doing it we don't know who's in charge of what what happens what when the ceo ed goes on vacation and nobody right Right. we gotta have to put those systems and processes in place so that people know and I mean, you're not talking just about planned vacations or planned anything. You're talking about you wake up this morning and life went totally wrong and you now have to go to the emergency room kind of things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Those things, your business should not have to come to a halt. And I think, I don't know about Ty, but I have been in a situation that I have had my business come to a halt many times. Yeah, because I wasn't physically able to engage with the business because I was a business Mm -hmm. and I made a vow to myself that I'm going to put the proper systems and processes in place so that my business is independent of me. Granted, I'm still an integral part of the business and the business's success. But my God, I can't take a week off. Yeah, and the business (laughs) because you're like you're kind of you're mentally full, right? You're like, oh my gosh, I am really so sick I, I was i told my sister the other day i said i remember when i could not afford to catch a cold and mm-hmm. she's like what do you mean by that because if i caught a cold and the cold was bad enough i can't come i can't do my work like whatever work exactly. I was to be done if i couldn't do my work i could not get paid if mm-hmm. i could not get paid then the power company could not get paid Right. So we are sick as a dog. You're <laughs> like trying to still do mm-hmm. work, just tearing your body down because there's nobody else to do anything. There's no systems in place. 
I now it's like, well, look, I'm sick. Whatever. Y'all go on to the website and schedule an appointment. It's cool. Mm-hmm. Talk to this and it's all it's all right. And I'll yeah. be there if I be there. If not, you call somebody else. We good. <laughs> and then you gotta set up your you know, it's all about communication with your clientele as well, right? And I'm making sure that you understand. Like I like to tell people, and people laugh every time I say it, I'm not a brain surgeon nor a heart surgeon. Okay. <laughs> it's not an emergency, right? Nah, I'm neither a brain surgeon nor a heart surgeon. You cannot want a grant today for tomorrow. So that's not the business I'm in. So you're not going to make your sense of urgency my emergency. We're going to do things correctly or you can move on to somebody who's going to give you a copy and paste type grant and you can turn that in. I don't operate like that. And I had to learn that too. That that comes again. We were talking earlier about desperation, working from a place of desperation. We got to start doing that. And these assessments help you to stop working from that place of death of desperation and putting systems and processes, putting systems and processes in place that will help you to feel comfortable to go sit on the beach in Maui somewhere and sip a um a, a mai tai or whatever and just have some fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. All right. That's it. All right, guys. Thank you for joining us for um for this um see this episode of mission impact and remember that we won't be back until september is that a song yeah i don't know but i just (laughs) made it one i'll be gone until september yeah we won't be back until september i think we'll be back the second week in september so just make sure to turn on your notification bell so that you can see us when we get back bye (laughs)